Hi guys, Dan the Stollers here. It's episode 12 of Dan the Stollers Question and Answers. And while I do them, we'll have a look through the first commemorative coin book that we've been trying to fill. We only need the Olympic Wrestling 50p to complete it. So you can have a look at all of the coins that you might be trying to find yourselves while I run through the questions. So the first question of the day, will 2021 bring any new United Kingdom coins? Well, I'm not sure for circulation. Obviously, there won't be any 2p's or £2 for another 10 years. I don't really like going on about that. It is very disappointing. However, what we do know is Lunar Year of the Ox, £5. That one dated 2021. That is also available now as well to buy. You're looking at 10 to £15 for that one. And you can get the one-ounce silver version for £85. There will be three more Winnie the Pooh 50p coins coming next year. Winnie the Pooh's already been released. Christopher Robin's coming next, then Piglet. None of them are for circulation, I'm afraid. But we know that three more will be coming next year and three more in the year 2022. So we definitely know that they're coming. I'm sure they've got to put something into circulation next year. Hopefully some kind of commemorative. I have been looking back to see what happened maybe 100 years ago, 150 years ago, just to see if there was anything that they might have done a commemorative on. The only real thing I can find, 1871 was the first international rugby match. But that's something that you'll probably see more on a £2 coin rather than on a 50 pence. And with the sad news that they won't be making any £2, you never know, they might make them, but not for circulation. We will just have to wait and see. Uh, the second question, any new 50p's coming this year? Like I say, the only ones really left now will be Christmas ones. They won't be released into circulation. There's been a couple of Snowman 50p's released the last couple of years. Like I say, not for circulation. However, you could still look out. Hopefully, they'll do another Christmas Isle of Man one. Possibly Jersey, Gibraltar, Guernsey. So definitely would think there's still a chance to see some nice festive 50p's. Now, I would definitely recommend the Isle of Man there being the best shout. The next question from Truncated Junior. What is the first coin that I purchased rather than collecting? One that wasn't for circulation would be the 2018 Gruffalo 50p. That one in silver. Really loved it. I waited up as well on the Royal Mint website to get that just after midnight. I'm so glad that I did. And I'll definitely be keeping that one forever. If it was one that was in circulation, I gave up trying to find a Jemima. I've been lucky enough to find some recently. But just over that first year or so... I just really wanted one to complete the Beatrix Potter set that I had. I purchased it for £5 back then and what a steal it was because you can't really get one for under £10 now. So I really wish that I had a lot of money then to buy them and also knew they would go up this much. But that is the thing, you never really know until a year after or maybe sometimes two years after just how many of them was made. And you definitely don't know until their mintage figures are released just how much your coin's going to be worth. The next question from JRC, do I buy coins and do I sell coins? Sell coins very rarely. I would only ever sell some of the ones that I had maybe to invest in getting new ones. Or if I was lucky enough to get a few quite rare ones, I may even sell them to try and get a silver coin, etc. And buying them, I do buy a lot, but I've got to whisper because my partner's listening. But I, no, I don't buy any. No, nope, never bought a coin, never will buy one. So we'll move on to the next one now. This one's in from Carrot Collects. What is my favourite error on a coin? Well, personally, it is on the 2008 20p coin. This one, a lot of you will know when it was first released. None of them were actually released with dates on. I just find it brilliant. And the poor person or people that will have made them, they really want to find it as funny as me. But that is definitely my best error that I've ever seen on a coin. I have been lucky enough to get one as well. I did buy that one, but... It was for good price and they are worth £50 still if you send them back to the Royal Mint. Very interesting next question from Darren Cheshire. Curry sauce or gravy? Well, it's not 50p related, but I don't mind and I will answer it. The answer to that one has got to be gravy because you can't have curry sauce on your roast dinner. And that's that. The next question is an absolute fantastic one. How many different kings and queens have been on the UK coins? Well, what I can tell you is over the last 500 years, there's been 22 different monarchs on the coins. And that is an absolute cracking video. I'm going to make a video on that as well. I'll do a timeline maybe of all of the different kings and queens that have been on them, how long for. And I really do like things like that in there because that's a brilliant video idea as well. Just trying to see who did that one. It was Zach Adams. Huge shout out for you for asking that question. Like I say, yeah, the, the answer is 22 different monarchs. But a video will go up on that and I'll start it tonight actually and get that done over the next few days. 
On to the next question, loads of them, really loving the questions as well. If there was any 50p coin designs that you would change currently, what would they be? Uh, we'll start off with the Beatrix Potter ones. Tom Kitten, I really do think could have been a lot better. If anyone's actually listening that's designed them, I'm not having a go. Please don't hate me forever. I just think that one's a really poor design. Uh, Commonwealth Games Glasgow, maybe not so much the actual design of the coin. Please just put a date on the back of it so every time I see one, I don't think it's a Kew Gardens. If you don't know, the Kew Gardens doesn't have a date on the back. Just exactly the same place as where that one does. And it's probably, a, the design's probably really good. It's just a disappointment of every time that you turn it over and it isn't the Kew Gardens coin. I think that's what makes it a lot worse. If I was to pick one from the Olympic 50p, possibly the Athletics, I think that one might have been a little bit better. But like I say, I don't know who's designed them, so I don't want to upset anyone. I need to really look into the designs. It's not something that I'm great on. It's just, if they're designed by children, I'm going to be really upset with myself. But anyway, we'll move on. The last one that I really don't like, and I'm quite happy to say this one, the Brexit 50p. Now, whether you're for or against Brexit, it doesn't really matter, in my opinion, for this topic. It's just the actual design work on it, for the monumental occasion of what the situation was, I just think a little bit of writing on a coin really just isn't good enough. But that's my opinion. We'll move on to the positives now. Someone's asked what I think the top-notch coins are that are currently in circulation, ones with no faults. So we'll start off the WWF 50p coin, the first coin that got me collecting coins. I love it, always will, and I've got really good luck with it actually recently. Got a few of them in my collection now. The second one, the Christopher Ironsides 50p. Big shout out to him as well. He was a good designer of coins. A uh, couple more, we'll do another Olympic one, a good one. Badminton 50p coin, that one definitely doesn't get as much credit as it deserves. It's an absolute stunner and I definitely can't fault that one in any way. And then finally, I'll go for the Sir Isaac Newton 50p. If you are lucky enough to find it and find it in brilliant condition, it really is an absolute stunner. And they are definitely, I would say, the best four, in my opinion, in circulation. Don't get me wrong, I really do love collecting all of them. But they are the ones that I would say are totally top-notch. And you really would struggle to design it better. So that's all the questions from today. I've probably bored you now for eight minutes, so that'll probably do for today. If you do have any questions for the next one, feel free to comment them in the comment section below. Like I say, so many subscribers, the channel's getting so busy. There's going to be question answers videos probably every second or third day now rather than every week just so we can get over them all, which I love. Get chatting to you guys and eventually, probably starting next month, we'll do all of this in the one hour live just chatting. It looks like it's probably going to be on the evening of a Saturday. I know it's not going to be perfect for everyone, but if you do have any questions to go on it, I can answer them and we can discuss them. Even if you're not there, all of the live streams will be saved so you'll be able to check up on it later on. So I hope you enjoyed the question and answers video. I hope you've had a really nice day today, guys. And as always, thanks for watching.